Hey guys, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Pros and cons, let's get to it. Rear, Duncan, Lyman, Boiling Springs. I love Greenville, South Carolina. So we're in Spartanburg, you're doing your research. And you may have come here originally looking at Greenville. You might be looking at Spartanburg because it's come up. So great things about Spartanburg that you have to know. First things first, Spartanburg's population is around 37,000 people. There's lots of different things about Spartanburg, but I'm just gonna narrow this down for you really fast. One of the first things that I hear a lot about Spartanburg when people are looking to relocate is the affordability, that cost of living. That's my industry, guys. You're looking to move here, buying a house, selling a house. Let's go ahead, let's talk about it. Why is it more affordable? We're looking at real estate your first home or maybe you're coming in and it's not your first home you are looking for that nice established neighborhood you're just gonna end up with a better price y'all so we're looking at also food health care services everything like that when you compare it to the national average of things it is it, it's better okay it's more affordable another pro for Spartanburg is the outdoor activities that you can do around here so what do I mean by that you know people love to be active whenever they come to the south that's one of the first things I hear about is they're like well we love riding our bike or we love going hiking what can we do and there's so many parks and lakes and trails that are around the area I think I can do an entire video just on the cool places that you can go out and actually enjoy the upstate. And a lot of those are around Spartanburg. So make sure you research those. I'll make sure I put a link to it in the description of the video so that you can go research that more. Other things to know about Spartanburg that are just great. Really, we have a very good, strong economy. There's lots of different um, corporations that are really close by here. So you're looking at BMW, Michelin, Fleur, GE. Those are all here in the area that are drawing people here. Um, another thing to look for is all of the educational opportunities. There's lots of colleges and universities here. They offer jobs, they offer, of course, education, but the opportunity to get involved in your community. Some of those colleges that you really wanna note are Spartanburg Community College, Wofford, Spartanburg Methodist, Converse, um, University of South Carolina Upstate, just to name a few. And there are so many more that I have not mentioned. So definitely if you are looking for a great place for um, your family to have education opportunities, definitely Spartanburg is a hub that you don't wanna miss out on. And then finally, I really wanna highlight like the arts and the culture of this area. Spartanburg is a older community of the upstate. If you've watched my other Spartanburg video, I go into more depth about the history of the area, but definitely the arts and the culture, and you hear the train? It's here because we are right outside of one of the inland ports. So that's down in Greer, and so there's gonna be trains all over the place. You're gonna hear that, but that's that's part of this area. That is why this area has grown to where it has been. And so you really wanna make sure you pay attention to the Chapman Cultural Center and all that it has to offer there and everything kind of funnels through there. So you wanna look at the cultural district, the festivals, the markets, there are 15 green spaces just around Spartanburg alone that you can be outside. We're sitting at one right now where you really can enjoy um, all that Spartanburg has. There's five different museums in the area. There's 10 to 20 different performance venues that are they're live venues, guys. Some of them are outside and some of them are inside. And you really want to make sure that you pay attention to what's going on in your community. So there's the good things, the things that I could probably keep adding on to. I think you need to look at Spartanburg. Now, let's get to the point of why you actually came to this video. You want to know the dirt. You want to know what's not so great about Spartanburg. 
So let's go to that part. Let's talk about the cons. And one of those first things that I'm gonna talk to you about is like public transportation and then also some of the traffic congestion that you can hear at the back right here. If you're used to easy public transport, you're really not gonna find it too easy here. Around here though, you will find electronic scooters every so often or like bikes. I don't know, I even saw a Segway tour once, so you'll figure it out. But that's something to note. I did mention the traffic congestion around here. We're right here in the I-85 corridor and Sparkburg has a lot of main roads, so there are areas that the congestion is worse and that's okay, just know it's getting better. It's one of the things that you need to be aware of here. Another thing is the weather. So I would say 70 to 80% of the year, we are in a very mild, temperate climate. However, in the summertime, it gets hot and sticky and humid. In the springtime, like right now, we have this greenish yellow film on everything. That's the pollen around here. If you have really bad allergies, you may not want to be here in the springtime. We do have a winter time here. Um, and if anything, we get an ice storm and it's gone in two days. Then we have like limited job opportunities in the area. So for Spartanburg, majority of the people that uh, I find that live out this area actually commute to their jobs in like Greenville County. If you're coming here for a job, look at the corporate entities, look at different colleges and so on and so forth. You'll find a job, but they are kind of limited in Spartanburg. And then finally, the big juicy con that I've waited in the entire video to tell you that it does have a higher than normal crime rate. So definitely you're going to want to look out for where you land. If you are buying a house here in the area without seeing its location, I would recommend that you do Google Street Views, that you go and you talk to people who have lived in that community around Spartanburg. There are people that come here to buy houses and there's a beautiful house in this area, but around the area might not be the best location. There are so many wonderful communities here in Spartanburg that you really need to look out for. So if you need help with that, contact me. I will make sure you talk to the right people. I would recommend looking at suburbs of Spartanburg as well, and that's another video. So you'll have to pay attention to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you are looking to relocate here to the Spartanburg area, or just to the upstate in general, make sure that you send me an email or a text message. Me and my team would love to help you out, and we will catch you next time.